there's honestly no fun way to talk about your own emotional clutter or baggage. So let's watch us declutter as I talk to you about clutter. <laughs> so clutter by definition is to crowd something untidily. I've been dealing with a lot of physical clutter in my space and it's been so good to pull it all out and let go of things that just serve no purpose for my family and I in our spaces. When what we've decided to keep is all back in its place so neatly, I feel so good and very accomplished. It's like I can finally rest and relax because our home feels comfortable. I honestly do not miss the items we've donated or sold off for small sums of cash on platforms like OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace. I don't miss it at all. The visual clutter actually right now in my life is just a no for me. It doesn't serve me well lately. It actually makes me anxious to see a bunch of stuff just laying around. So especially since we've been home, just like the rest of the world, we've spent so much more time in our home than ever lately. I knew I had a lot of stuff, but really pulling it all out and finally feeling ready to part with some things was an eye opener. 2020 has had my eyes wide open to a lot this year. And I'm not just talking about the insane amount of physical clutter I found in our spaces, but the hidden amount of emotional dust that I was clinging to in my heart, my mind, and my soul. It was like new wounds scratched the surface of old ones, and trauma will actually expose the most seemingly dusty parts of our being. The pandemic and civil unrest and televised murders of people who look like you is actually really traumatic. At the start of 2020, my worst nightmare actually found itself a part of my real reality. You can watch that series here on my YouTube channel and be moved to act if you're led. But dealing with a worst nightmare in reality makes it hard to wake up and get back to normal if you know what I mean. The doctors call it anxiety disorder or adjustment disorder. For me, it's been a period of unpacking mental clutter that I didn't know I had as a result of being a part of my own worst nightmare and actually deciding not to slow down to be able to wake up on the right side of the bed, aka life. I've always been told how beautiful I am. Therefore, it's easy for me to look like everything is okay from the outside. You know, the American dream with the white picket fence, with the houses full of clutter. <laughs> Actually, so funny, right? But you know it's true. The world, or maybe even the people closest to you, make you feel like you're not worth the time or energy to unpack. Especially if you're experiencing a difficult moment in your story called life. But that's simply not true. And you most certainly are not broken because things feel out of order during a difficult event or traumatic experience. You may just need time to figure out how to put the pieces in the right place to make you feel comfortable and at peace again. You're not broken. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. The pieces are all there, but time and help may be needed to make those pieces fit together again perfectly. So don't start throwing away the pieces of you because the world makes you feel like you don't fit because you found yourself in a difficult space. So, I'm decluttering mentally more often than putting on fake facades for people who don't even care if I vanish from their world. I'm dusting off the corners of my mind, my heart and soul to be able to rest and relax because our hearts, our minds and our souls need to feel comfortable again. Not just in this winter season, but in every season. And then when the next dust cloud filled with emotional wounds and trauma and stress appear again, I will know what I need to do to clear out the corners of my heart, mind, and soul to continue to be whole for me first before anyone else. So today I ask, which areas of your life do you need to declutter? And please know it's okay to ask for help that you're worth keeping and you are definitely worth holding on to for the long run the queen of the rocks <laughs> I'm on top of the world.
dogs for the backyard. I like the little shimmery color to them, but I was yeah. expecting white ones. Especially when they're wet, it's they're probably they're If you were the queen of the world, what would you do first? Um, if I were the queen of the world, I would make healthcare free. Good start. <laughs>